In a bid to strengthen defense cooperation, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is in India on a two-day visit. He held bilateral talks with Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh, and during the talks, the officials discussed the escalating aggression by China, concerns over Pakistan and the GE deal, and both Austin and Singh also emphasized on the importance of maintaining stability and peace in the region. New Delhi and Washington also discussed new initiatives in the defense sectors. And so on this visit, I am pleased that we have taken new steps to strengthen our defense partnership. We established an ambitious new roadmap for defense industrial cooperation, which will fast track high priority co-development and co-production projects and build closer ties between our defense industries. We look forward to advancing some of those projects during the upcoming visit between our leaders later this month. We also discuss an important new initiative, Indus X, that aims to jumpstart partnerships between the U.S. and Indian defense innovation sectors. While addressing the media after the bilaterals, Austin emphasized on how they are not trying to form a NATO-like alliance in the Indo-Pacific region, something that Beijing had taken a strong exception against, asserting on how both India and the United States of America share a common vision of a free and an open Indo-Pacific. Democracies must now rally together around not just our common interest, but also our shared values. Preserving and protecting the freedoms that are essential to peace and prosperity will require vigorous leadership from the United States and from India. And so we still have a lot of work to do, but I am confident that the U.S.-India partnership will help secure an open and prosperous future for the Indo-Pacific and the wider world. Now, while speaking on China's misadventures around the line of actual control, the U.S. Defense Secretary said that he does not want to get into any kind of speculation and emphasized on how it was important to communicate with each other in order to prevent any untoward incident from escalating. In terms of what could happen uh, along the LAC, you know, I won't get into any kind of speculation, but, you know, um, a, a number of things can, can always happen. But I want to make sure that uh, we do everything we can to ensure that things don't happen. And part of that is being able to, to communicate with uh, uh, great powers, being able to communicate with each other and prevent things from uh, incidents from escalating out of control. So I, I won't care to speculate as to whether or not there'll be additional misadventure, but I, I certainly hope not. So. For more on this story, our principal diplomatic correspondent Sadan Sibul is joining us live from New Delhi. Sadan, welcome to the broadcast. Both sides agree that partnership between India and the U.S. is critical for ensuring a free, open and rules-bound Indo-Pacific region. Is China the main catalyst bringing the two together? Well, China might not be the main catalyst. It looks like there are a lot of convergences when it comes to India and the U.S., but it surely helps when it comes to dealing with a common uh, uh, problem, a common issue, and that is a very aggressive China. And that, of course, is something that has been converging issues. In fact, today's conversation between the U.S. Defense Secretary and the Indian Defense Minister was dominated by conversations over free and open Indo-Pacific, a clear message to Beijing. And of course, during a press statement as well, a press conference which the U.S. Defense Secretary held earlier today in Delhi, he talked about China's uh, aggressiveness, China's coerciveness, and how China has been bullying the countries in the region. But essentially, both countries are looking at deliverables as well. One, of course, has been on supply chains. Um, even as both sides are going to resume talks on a crucial pact, also focus remains on uh, uh, making sure India and U.S. work together in the region in several ways possible. India, of course, also highlighted to the American side over worries over Pakistan and how Pakistan is not trustworthy when it comes to uh, the Western defense equipment. And this is something that destabilizes the region as well. So whole gamut of issues were discussed, but China, of course, undoubtedly, the conversations which happened today.
All right, Sadan. Thank you for getting us all those updates from New Delhi.